Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Edgeless by Erend. In this puzzle, you're going to be dealing with a light bridge, funnel, fizzlers, cubes, and an edgeless safety cube. Also, when you enter the test chamber, look above you. Trust me, it'll help. And the companion cube is not optional, it is required for the puzzle. The reason it's a companion cube is for you to identify the cubes. So again, it is not optional, sorta. You can bring it with you to the exit if you like. Thanks to Nintendo.Irk for playtesting and feedback, and Jay Galtney for feedback. You may find the puzzle similar to Nintendo.Irk's pre-funnel map. This puzzle was inspired by it. I really like the idea of that map. Music is by Harry Culligan. Welcome to the future from Portal Stories Mel. Useful tip especially for LB, after loading a save or quick save, music will stop playing. To play the music again, type into console this, which I've already bound to a key. I uh, bound it to my B key, because B wasn't bound to anything. All feedback is welcome, have fun. P.S. I don't know why Steam tagged this map as saying it has a faceplate, when it really doesn't. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I don't know much about this map, but it looks like a good map. Let's see... I didn't want to teleport in, just in case, I wasn't sure. Looks like we have a light bridge that we can only use in one angle. Cannot... cannot really... Yeah, can't really do anything about that, and here is probably an endless safety cube, right? If I had to guess. Can't really see it, but that's what I'm sure it is. Alright, let's head over here. That's glass, good to know. We have a button which turns off the sizzler. We can, we can aim at the light bridge from here. Yep. It is again aim, aim assisted for us. So we'll be coming back here at some point. We we won't be able to get back here, uh... Actually, we will. We will be able to get back here to get the edgeless safety cube. And this is how we'll be doing it. Yeah, like that. Alright, so. Let's head over here and start the main bulk of the puzzle, I assume. This allows us to go back. Excellent. <laughs> The yeah, antlin goes a bit further than the other one. We have... sort of runway... thing. Hmm. Interesting, what does this do? Drops us a regular cube. Hello, regular cube. There is our exit requirement. Any square cube, and an edgeless safety cube. Over there, we have a shortcut. Hmm. Alright, so. I think what we need to do is this. And then we need to keep the light bridge. There we go. Yes. Now that we've kept the light bridge, we can get across. I'll take this with us, just in case. Never know. Shortcut activated. <laughs> that looks strange. Because the light bridge redraws whenever it gets its length changed. That does... that fizzler. Interesting. We have some steps. To conveniently allow us to jump into the funnel if we wanted to. What do we have? A button that opens this fizzler. And two buttons. I'm assuming those are for the edge of the safety cube, in fact. And we have... Some crisscrossing ant lines, but that's okay. They... they... are pretty clear. So... Not only is this fizzler connected to that button, there's a fizzler in front of this portal surface that's also connected to the button. So once we place the portal and take the cube off, the portal stays there, but we can't go through the funnel anymore. What about this? Yeah, that's a thing we can do, but it's not that useful. Is that the exit? What is that? Is that just an easter egg? That's supposed to be like an observation room that has a test subject door in it. <laughs> Strange. Right, so this goes to... what exactly? So it turns off the fizzler and it also controls... the dropper for the companion cube. Okay. Hmm. I think I want to put the cube in the funnel and stand on the button myself. So we've lost the light bridge. I'll stand on this button. Let it go all the way through. When I see it over there... There it goes. Yeah, and now to get in there, I have to walk through and clear my portals. That's fine. What the? Right. The companion cube. 
I'll put you on this button for now. Alright, so what about in here? Yes, this is exactly what spawns the Edgeless Safety Cube. I recognize that signage anywhere. Maybe because it was the only thing with signage. I do appreciate that. The- the use of signage... Uh, you can often use it so that only one thing has signage, and then whenever you see signage, the player immediately knows what it goes to. Very well done. Hmm... Alright, so... All we need is to get both cubes in here, so... I think we can quite easily do this maneuver again, to get the companion cube in here. But then the question would be... Right, we would put the companion cube here, and then we would have to get the light bridge again to get the regular cube in here, because we'd have to respawn it, blah 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 blah. You get the picture. Let's just do it. <laughs> Funnel tried to pick me up for a moment there. Let's go ahead and save. There we go. Take our companion cube, it is already right side up. We will plonk it down there. Excellent. And then there's nothing to do about this cube, really. And crap! Ha! <laughs> That's what quick saves are for. Oh, well, that didn't really help me anyway. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe we'll save a bit more appropriately. That is the one issue with these buttons, that when you pick the cube up, sometimes it fires them multiple times. Get in there. In fact, let's not even pick it up, let's just leave it there, and we'll go respawn it by hand. Cause that'll be guaranteed to not accidentally re-trigger it. Clever geometry. Make sure we can't see this portal surface, by the way. Of course we have that shortcut panel, so that's nice. Much appreciated. Let's get ourselves a light bridge, shall we? There we go. I didn't need to do that, because it was a shortcut panel, but I just wanted to. Just to prove that this was a shortcut, not actually necessary. Alright, so, let's just bring this in here, and we should be able to spawn the Edgeless Safety Cube. Yep, there we go. Alright, now we will put the regular cube in this spot here, because we can easily get it back. this. Yeah, <laughs> there's just a door to a window here. Strange. And we're just about done, I believe. In fact, let me just go ahead and put this on this button for now. That'll make things simpler. Oh, don't touch the fizzler, please. There we go. Walk all the way across this light bridge, put it back on the button. And there is our edgeless safety cube, rolling right towards us. Don't think we ever needed to use that portal surface necessarily. It seems completely optional to me, because we always have this guy here. It's just there for convenience, I suppose. So now we can put that there. Grab this guy. Put him at the door. And then we can respawn the regular cube. Ta-da! Cool map, Errand. I like that. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. 
Goodbye.